Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, come on in here and get the spiritual word. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that Spirit gave me a message here for you. I knew that you were coming. Maybe you're in a situation, right? And you just need some clarification. Maybe you need to make a determination about a relationship, okay? That you need to separate from. Whatever that is, nine times out of ten, Spirit guided you here because this is where the answer lies. Now, here's the funny part. Let's just have a real conversation. The answer really lies by way of you going within, you already know that you know you know. You just came here for clarification. And maybe you just needed somebody to fill in the blanks, right? A third party. Somebody like myself who's seen the situation from the outside in as opposed to the inside out. It's something about being really close to these situations sometimes that can warp our vision depending on where we are in our spiritual walk. Nevertheless, I support you in the energy. Be it good, bad, or indifferent. I just hope that you tell yourself the truth so you'll know what to pick up and what to put down by way of this reading. Again, welcome to Spiritual Court. If you're returning back to the channel, you are my beautiful, wonderful, amazing soul tribe. Something that I said on a previous video is resonating with your higher self. You already knew that you knew you knew. And you're pulling the cards too. We're rapping today, rhyming today. I got them spiritual bars. <laughs> I got the spiritual bars, yo. Listen, let's just go ahead and get into the spiritual work, baby. I was in the kitchen, y'all, you know, making me a little Muslim bean soup. It is a Muslim recipe. Shout out to Sister Priscilla Riverside. Assalamu alaikum. She taught me how to make a really good bean soup. It's so good. How to eat to live class. She's in Riverside, mosque number. I think it's, is it 97? Ooh, forgive me. It's been a while. She's an elder. She was amazing. At the time that she was teaching me, y'all, she had to have been well into her 70s. Do you know this lady looked like she was like 39 years old? Wasn't a wrinkle on her face? Diet, mindset. She was amazing. She took me under her wing at a time that I really just needed that type of guidance. I am eternally grateful. But I made that bean soup today. So as I was making the bean soup, listen. Okay, I heard the download. These haters want to be lovers so bad. They're really in denial, y'all. The download came through real clear. The fact that you just keep coming back to love is letting people know that there's something that's in them that's off, that's wrong. I know, common sense would say, well, duh, didn't you know that already? Why are you walking around just hating on people, right? If you really like yourself, you really don't have time to be nitpicking with people and finding things wrong or trying to spend a lot of your energy and your time on bringing them down. If you really like yourself, people that like themselves, they don't spend time doing that. People that really care about themselves, they're somewhere working on how to be a better version of themselves. <laughs> like, that's a fact. So listen, I heard it real clear. Look, these haters really want to be lovers. They really do hate to love you, though. It's bittersweet for them because they have to admit something silently that maybe they weren't willing to admit to other people out loud. And that's that that's fine. I always say the truth is what you tell yourself when nobody's watching. Who gives a damn what lie you telling somebody? And if you lying, why are you lying to people? What you lying about and for? Why? You afraid? A who? Yeah. It's giving. Why you always lying? You need to stop that lying. You always crying about your ass lying. I made the song up. Listen, I know it don't go like that. But listen, that's the one that fits the circumstance and or the situation. I call upon the highest of white lights, though. Show me this. You know, they, they want to be lovers. They want to be haters. They don't know which day it is and why. And yeah, I cannot make it up. Dark night of the soul, baby. Yeah. A lot of projection of the evil eye. Really how they feel. They'll never admit that you are encouraging them and or inspiring them to go within. As hard as this is to admit, this is really what it is. These are people that hate to love you, love to hate you. They really want to be lovers, but they don't know how to be. They don't even like themselves, so they need to start there first. They're watching obsessively. They can't stop. Yeah, there's going to be communication coming in. Uh, this is energy of embarrassment. This is energy of shame. 
This is energy of how can I make things right? Because even if somebody didn't show you an evil face, right? They absolutely did harbor some type of hatred in their heart for you. Yeah, I cannot make it up. Three of Swords. Brokenhearted, sad, depressed, um, not liking what they see in the mirror, not liking who they are. This has nothing to do with aesthetics, eyebrows, eyelashes, clothes, shoes, car, house. Those things are always the icing on the cake. But what is the cake made out of? Somebody realizes that they were in a really deep, <clears throat> excuse me, cycle of bitterness and resentment. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I just took a shot of some turmeric and ginger and the powder is like right on the right side of my vocal cord. <clears throat> I'm just like sitting there like, Whoa, don't cough, don't cough, don't cough. Okay, back to spiritual break. <clears throat> Let me just clear my throat chakra. Bear with me for just a moment. Okay, thank you. So we're back. Listen, thank you for that impromptu commercial break. But yeah, somebody is really, really trying their best. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you remind them of what needs to be healed. Ten of Pentacles, somebody's watching us in this abundant energy, loving, caring, kind. Spiritual gifts is what I'm getting. The gift of sight, the gift of foresight, the gift to heal. Somebody wants to come near you to heal. This is the thing. When you have that light, you're going to attract a little bit of everything. Some of those people will be enamored by it and some will be absolutely disgusted and repelled by it because it reminds them of parts of themselves that they refuse to heal, period. There's really no other way to say that, but just to say it. Let's just keep it real. Let's take the truth, okay? Straight up, no chaser. <clears throat> Show me what it is I need to see, please, and thank you. Yeah, the hermit. Somebody could be isolated, just watching you, obsessing over you. The hermit, Virgo energy. Doesn't have to be a Virgo, okay? But I feel like you really stay to yourself. So show me these haters who want to be lovers. Archangel Michael, please and thank you. Show me these people. Some Somebody silently admires you. They know what they did to you. But there's this weird, like, double-edged sword of truth. Somebody hates the fact that they admire you. Hmm. That's interesting. It's an interesting energy. Silently, y'all. Somebody openly hated you around other people could have gossiped, could have spread it lies, rumors, or maybe they told the truth about who you were and who you used to be. It don't matter what they said. You're not that person anymore. You're standing in your power with no apologies to what you had to go through to become this person. It wasn't always pretty, right? Some of you lost your house, your car, whatever that was, okay? So maybe they were spreading the truth with lies. It doesn't matter, but somebody was holding you to an old energy of who you used to be. And now they're sitting, realizing that the problem is them, okay? Maybe somebody felt like they were doing you a service, by way of defaming your character and letting people know, I'm going to tell you who this person really is and who they're not. Nevertheless, this is them. Nine of swords, stressed out. I just heard pain and anguish. Somebody just realized they're a hater. Can we just have a commercial break? Like how deep down in hate do you have to be to all of a sudden have this epiphany that you're the problem, you're the hater. Somebody was unaware that they were a hater. Somebody felt like they were doing people a justice uh, by way of keeping them informed on the real news about you, who you really are. Like, that ain't really who she is. That ain't really who he is. Oh, he into all this love and light now. Girl, I remember when he used to smoke weed and was sleeping on my cousin's couch. Okay, well, listen. This is what they're saying. The fact that you're comfortable with your 
story really is what has this person up at night. You're comfortable with whatever lies they're telling about you. It's giving, oh, you heard that about me. Okay, that's fine. Believe it. And you're moving about your life and this Ten of Pentacles energy continuing to go within. Yeah, look. This hater wants to come in so bad and be a friend, baby, with this little breadcrumb. But again, I always say go within. This person does not even like themselves. It's too soon, baby. You're not out of the spiritual uh, oven as of yet to even come out and be friends with anybody. You need to go within for at least a year and figure out who are you without needing to obsessively see this person that you hate so much every day. You need to detox from somebody's energy that was not even concerned about you. Somebody's watching every day obsessively. As much as they want to say that they hate you, they could not stop watching. They cannot stop watching. And now they're learning from you. Seven of Swords is sneaky and deceptive. Cunning, cutthroat, gossip, slander, wickedness. Just straight up on demon time, okay? Somebody thought what they had made them more appealing, okay? Um, house, car, money, job. And now they feel very spiritually broke. Like it's a spiritual poverty energy. <clears throat> wow. Like, yeah, it's like as much as they have, they don't feel good. It's not a good life. They're not, you know, and somebody's watching you be okay with your story. This person doesn't want people to really know who they are. Mm -hmm. So they do a lot of deflecting, a lot of projecting so that it will take the energy and or the focus off of them, their insecurities. And so they talk about you a lot. Three of Wands, somebody's at a distance from you. You could have distanced yourself from these people. Okay. This is somebody, the reason why the Three of Wands is here is because Spirit is saying, let's be clear, this is not even somebody that you see every day. This is not somebody that you have to interact with. <laughs> wow. Queen of Cups. Why is that Queen of Cups here? Psychic, intuitive. You instinctually know who these people are and they know it. Scorpionic energy is heavy. Okay, there's a tower here at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's weighed down because you've healed. And you know what's so interesting? I feel like whoever this person is, if they knew a lot about you, the fact that they don't know anything about you now is driving them up the wall. It's almost like they need new material. They need new conversation. They don't have any new updates. Yeah, they don't have any new updates. It's just like, it's like they're talking about you. <clears throat> and somebody's like, yeah, I remember this, 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 and this. They're like, oh, really? Well, when was that? You know, people are asking questions now because they could be watching you stand in your power. And somebody's like, oh, that was 2010. So people are looking at this person like, huh? It's 2024. What are you talking about? Yeah, this is what I'm getting. Somebody doesn't have new information. And whatever old news they're recycling is now making them look like they're a hater, like openly hater. This was a this was somebody that felt like again they were they were keeping people in the loop, informing them. Yeah, I heard she lost her job. Yeah, I heard she got a divorce like that. Yeah, the truth is being exposed. Whoever you are, Queen of Cups, you're being seen as caring, loving, and kind. You don't have to be a water sign. All right. You don't have to be a Virgo. Just take what resonates. But you're coming up by way of energy as somebody who's emotionally, excuse me, emotionally mature and emotionally balanced. Show me this. Um, Want to be a hater? Or who is this? Or what? OK, they're coming up. Here they go. Somebody's watching you stand in your power. Yeah, somebody's watching you stand in your power. I feel like somebody's also trying to copy you. Somebody was so deep in this evil eye energy that they didn't even realize they wanted to be you. And if they're trying to be you, then when do they ever really look at themselves in this nine of swords and this eight of swords self entrapment energy? 
somebody's coming to the realization that they're a hater. And they have to admit this to themselves, even if they don't admit this to the people that they've talked to you about or talked to other people about you, rather. They could have told you about some people, too. I feel like this is the, the person that's like a go-between. You know, they straddle the fence. They like to be in all the groups all the time at the same time. Yeah. Just so that they keep an update on everybody and they seem like they are the healthy liaison between the groups is what I'm getting. Somebody teeters and totters their ass off and now they want to be a lover and not a hater. Somebody's watching you standing your power, envious of your power. Somebody knows what they said about you and the fact that you're unbothered really, really puts them in this, you know, silent competition, five of wands. Somebody's competing with you. Wow. Show me the lover that want to be a hater. Yeah. Somebody's watching you have a victory. They know that they'll never get a second chance. Somebody knows that they have to look at themselves. I feel like whoever this is in a silent, weird little way, again, I'm getting somebody that'll never admit this. There's a lot of ego here. I feel like whoever this person is, you've inspired them to go within. They won't admit it though. They got a long way to go and they don't ever have to give you credit for anything. But this is about them facing themselves. And I, at this point, I don't even feel like this person likes themselves. Like I said, somebody's really successful, could be financially successful, but very unhappy. A lot of things, a lot of nice things, y'all. I'm seeing somebody that's got it. That's, that's you know, they worked hard. They, they did whatever. And for whatever reason, they weren't satisfied with their accolades. They needed to shit on you on a daily. This is what I'm getting. The world is here, though. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Five of swords. Somebody was having a fight with you and you didn't even realize you were in the battle. You're like, hater? Where? <laughs> Somebody was determined to take you out, take you down. Five of swords. Listen, look at the guy right here. You see him right here? The swords are on the ground, baby. This person has their back turned and somebody is fighting them with their sword raised. You see the look on his face? He feels as though he's getting away with something, but you're not in a fight with anybody. Nobody's there. Nobody's there to fight you. This person's swords are on the ground. So who are you fighting? Somebody's like, yo, I've been sitting here under this illusion. You know what I really feel like this person is coming to the understanding of is how much time how much time has gone by. Somebody's watching you in admiration, really wanting to be a lover now. Queen of Swords, okay? You could have got Queen of Swords on that ass, Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini. When I think Queen of Swords, I think of intelligence. I think of air sign energy. The Aquarius energy gives me swift moving action, intelligence. Gemini gives me communicative efforts. Libra and energy gives me balance. You are a master of understanding the art of war. You're very much aware, but I feel like you pick and choose your battles. And this was one that you just let play out by where the five of swords with your sword on the ground. You like, look, at some point, you got to see that you're the issue. I'm going to go over here and walk in truth. Ace of swords and queen of cups is somebody that's like closing out a cycle. They don't have time. And somebody's watching you be abundant. Wow. You could have just silently bowed out gracefully, cut these people off. And somebody, that in itself is really bothering somebody too. Because again, they want to keep telling people who you were. Somebody is blinded from the truth. They want to blind other people from the truth. They want to tell people who you were like 10, 15 years ago. It's like, wait a minute, can we just have a commercial break? If I bank on who I was 10, 15 years ago, why? What can I do with that information? I have nothing else to give that. But this is how this person moves. Because they don't have any new information about you and what people are seeing about you by way of the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups and being about your Ten of Pentacles or whatever else and, and closing out this cycle and healing. It's not matching up. It's not mapping by way of energy. Six of Swords is healed. Sailing to calmer waters. So now somebody's whole strategy to turn people against you is really making them look like an oddball. <laughs> a goofball. Like seriously. 
show me this they want to come in to be a lover i feel like they could have tried to approach you but you're not emotionally spiritually available somebody could be trying to locate you yeah you're coming up as a queen of wands very sophisticated attractive you give good advice you're a boss boss energy passionate very attractive is what i'm getting by way of that queen of wands and when i mean attractive let's not be confused by way of aesthetics right what we look like on the outside anybody can pull that together right there's a lot of things to help us do that but what i mean by attractive i mean by way of your light by way of your energy because again the six of swords is letting me know that you've healed so you're giving off a radiance by way of being healed secure root chakra on fire you know who you are you're standing sitting laying down in your power i love it ten of cups listen soul tribe energy you're getting your wishes to be fulfilled you're happy yeah fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius there's something about you that people love nine of pentacles it's been a long time coming you could have a family okay and somebody's angry about that. Like everything that you do, they're angry. Until maybe recently somebody was like, dang, what's wrong with me? Somebody is really telling themselves, I'm really effed up. This is what I hear this person saying. Nine of swords, eight of swords is like bad mental business, baby, to be standing on. But, you know, we stand on spiritual business, biz naive, the business. But somebody's standing on bad karmic spiritual business and they got to stand on that shit they said. Because now people are like, oh, remember you told me that such and such and such. They don't even know what to do. You ever just realize when you're in a conversation with a hater, you ever just like, you say something, you're like, what? You're like, yo, let me make a conscious note. I am standing here talking to a hater. You could just be vibrant, celebrating yourself, not trying to uh, intimidate anybody, but that light has irritated somebody's demons because again, it's a constant reminder of things that they have not worked on. Yeah, listen, nine of pentacles. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could have gotten wind that you're pregnant, that you're getting a fair judgment. This is what I'm getting by way of, that's not for everybody. Okay, but that nine of pentacles is giving me pregnancy and family. Like you have a family, a husband, you're happy. And somebody's catching wind of that. Somebody doesn't have new information. Somebody could have tried to come towards you. Yeah, this person still like this is all over the place. Somebody's in the cut like I hate this person, but they don't know why they hate you. And again, every time they look in the mirror, they have to face the fact that, yeah, there's something about themselves that they have yet to work on. The moon hitting the energy uh, enemy. I was going to say energy and enemy. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you know. They talked to other people about you. There could have been three other people that they got in on this gossip train. You know, yeah. Four of Pentacles. These people thought they had left you out in the cold. Maybe they wanted you to feel like you weren't a part of the group. Four of Pentacles holding back energy from you. All the while, it was an illusion. You went on with your life. It's almost like people that are saying, we're not going to invite you to the party. We're not going to invite you here. We're not going to talk to you. We're not going to energetically interject with you we want you to feel left out in the cold we want you to feel like you're nothing it was always an illusion with that five of swords i cannot get it out of my mind with the two swords on the ground you were never in a fight with these people and when they finally were able to see through the fog of jealousy and 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 weird ass unwarranted competition unhealthy competition what they saw was you were never in a fight with them all this time while all this gossip was circulating and all. You were somewhere where building the Ten of Pentacles, a whole Queen of Cups, loving, caring, and kind, the Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, growing your family, Queen of Swords, intelligently healing, and you've already sailed away. <laughs> they were under this illusion that you felt left out. It's like you can't sit at our table. It's like, no, boo, this person went off and left and built their own table and they're in the Ten of Cups with people that love them. Okay, King of Pentacles. Somebody is really trying to figure out how you get your money. This was another big topic amongst this group. These haters, they want to be lovers. They want to be friends. Somebody could be talking about your partnership, your husband. Okay, trying to figure out if you're married or not. I just heard. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles is a couple. 
Maybe they want to know what your husband does for work. Maybe they want to know what you do for work. Four of Wands, this is a union. I just heard happy house, happy home, happy wife, happy life, happy husband. <laughs> you're, move, you're, you're moving forward. You've moved forward. The chariot. Somebody definitely, let me just see. Yeah, they spy. I was just about to say that. Come on, spirit. They spy on you. Page of Swords. They're always watching energetically. Why is that Page of Swords here? Yeah, somebody sends like monitoring spirits. I can't make it up. Monitoring spirits. Spiritual practitioner. Hierophant energy. Somebody definitely does some type of divination or they spy on you or they send you energy just because they want to be a fly on the wall. They don't understand how you've been so happy with very little and now that you have a lot, you are grateful and appreciative and you enjoy it because you deserve it. Wow. Show me what else I need to see. Yeah, your ancestors are not playing. So whatever these monitoring spirits call themselves doing seven of wands, they have to face your ancestors. Somebody's losing it because they don't know what you got going on. They thought they knew, but then they realized that a lot of this was an illusion. So somebody was getting some type of divination. It's all over the place. It's just confusion, like energy. It's really picking up their energy and what it is that they want to see in the cards. Damn. Damn. Whew, yeah, they're paying somebody. They're paying somebody a lot, too, to spy on you, to check your, to check to see if something that they did worked. Gossip. Did, do you know that they're the enemy or whatever this is? I smell some black magic, but I'm not going to say it. Yeah, it's been illuminated. The sun. Somebody's being told that you're happy. Leo energy. Your heart is happy. Somebody is being told that you are happy. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? Can we just have a real commercial break? Somebody out here trying to slander your name and have people hate you, gang stalk you, team up on you, be the mean girls, be the mean guys. That's not nice. Kind of an energy only to find out that you're happy and that you're in the Ten of Cups. And now they are forced to look at themselves and go work on themselves. Somebody spent a lot of time and energy years, y'all. Stand in this dark ass energy. I just heard their monitoring spirits can't see. Damn. Whew, Lord have mercy. Page of Wands waiting on news, baby, to try to get an update. Whatever this divination is, somebody's waiting on the news, the outcome, this monitoring spirits. What did they find out? What are they doing? You know, this is the third day in a row that I saw some birds flying in confusion they were all like in a circle and i said damn the enemy is really confused somebody doesn't know what to believe about your life <laughs> you king of swords on that ass you cut people off baby you did it so silently that somebody did not even hear their head come off of their head by way of the machete listen it's a slice and dice type of an energy the slice was so nice it was silent somebody's walking around thinking that they know but their head is up their ass this is how the universe is is giving them back their karma none of what they believed was happening for you happened somebody loves to talk things into existence by way of gossip okay And here's the creator of all things saying, I have the final say. Ace of Cups represents the creator extending a hand of kindness and generosity to you by way of giving you your Ten of Cups, your Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is not liking the fact that the only thing that separates the two of you is energy and inner healing. Somebody's very financially well off. And now that you're financially well off, the thing that, again, separates the two of you is the energy that you carry. Whew. Show me ooh, show me what it is I need to see. Somebody's going to be coming in trying to offer some type of an apology. This could be on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, hoo-hoo, doo-doo, crew-doo. However they feel they need to get through through, they're going to try after doing a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, I'm making light of the situation, but in all reality, somebody is like wanting to apologize 
But even in that, there's ego, there's stubbornness. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you turned out to be okay. Somebody's still talking about you, still collaborating. Could be talking to a practitioner, trying to find out if something that they did work. Why am I getting that three of pentacles? Because I feel, yeah. The practitioner's advising them that, yeah, you've moved on with your life. You got the ace of wands. <laughs> Can you imagine? Going to the practitioner only for them to tell this person that you're happy. Ace of Wands energy, that you're happy, you're loving, you're caring, you're kind. You got the Ace of Cups, the helping hand of the creator is here. And, and, and to tell them we can't touch this person because the God that they serve got them in the Ten of Cups. They know what you did, by the way. Somebody's like, does, does she know? Does he know? Yeah. All that who's going to know energy, we're going to know. We're definitely going to know. <laughs> What's the outcome, spirit? Somebody could have been doing some type of magic too, y'all. Yeah, they're a little stressed out. Yeah. Somebody was absolutely doing something to you, okay, to try to block you. This is what the practitioner is telling them. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Listen, let me tell you something. These, these cards right here. This is what the practitioner is telling them. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, brand new beginning, happy, joy, the sun, something that somebody did in the past, okay? They're weighed down about it. You were supposed to be everything that they said that you were, but in reality, they're realizing that those words are only a reflection and were a reflection and will continue to be a reflection of who they are and absolutely who they are not. The Knight of Wands, fire sign energy. Somebody was very, very immature. This is giving me all over the community type of an energy. The Knight of Wands in this particular spread lets me know that somebody was out to tell as many people as they possibly could, just all over the place. Now they're trying to balance out the rumors. Now they're trying to balance out their feelings. Oh, well, no, what I really meant was... But no, I never, they like, no, remember you told us that, uh, look, seven of pentacles. Remember you told me that this person was a prostitute on drugs, whatever they said, somebody took the truth and mixed it with lies all to get people to see things a certain way. Four swords. Spirit laid somebody out. The universe laid somebody's ass down and spirit is saying they will continue to be laid down in this nine of swords, eight of swords, the four of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords. Not only that, they're telling them that you've healed from something as well. This is what the practitioner is telling them. Okay, I'm almost done. I promise I am. Yeah. Somebody went to a practitioner to find out what you got coming in by way of this ace of pentacles, ace of wands. And the Ace of Cups, that you're happy, Ten of Cups, that you are loving, caring, kind, and just really being about your life. Somebody knows that you got money coming in, stability, okay? When somebody could have told somebody something about you being in an instability. Oh, I remember when she was homeless. I remember when he was homeless. I remember, okay, whatever this was, they wanted to keep that dream alive, baby. I just heard keep hope alive. Lord have mercy. But this is the message. It is what it is. I thank y'all for allowing me to be here in spiritual court. Listen, this hater wants to come in, honey. I might do a part two on this. Maybe. We'll see. Because this is a really common energy right now by way of people wanting to spin that block and come on in here and woo up the shock on the clock because they're running out of time. Tick tock. I keep telling y'all I got them spiritual bars. You know I do. Listen. They want to spin the block. But the thing about it is, is that you're not even on the block no more. Not only are you staying in your own lane, I just heard, you created your own lane. You and the creator paved a different road, one that people are not privy to. They don't know how to find you. They don't know where you're at. They don't know what you're doing. They thought they did, but now they're not sure. Baby, listen, and the practitioner is telling them that you are happy. Somebody's getting a real reading from maybe somebody else. Maybe they tired of going to the same practitioner because they're like, okay, I just need to know what's going on. So maybe they chose somebody different is what I feel. And this person's like, yeah, this person's happy. This person's in their power. Whatever they're telling them, it's really got this person 
in their head like they want to be a lover they want to be on board they want to be about that spiritual work but they really don't know how to be it's unfortunate this does conclude that haters want to be lovers case number who knows what in spiritual court i love y'all all my information is down below i only do 30 minute readings now uh that's going to be for the entire 2024 unless it's an emergent situation or you are already a private client of myself and I've done a reading for you previously and we have a relationship that I understand your situation. But from here on out, it's 30 minute readings. That's it. And it is 72 hours for the wait. Um, nevertheless, if this story resonated with you, then it really does help me. I'm happy because it sat satisfies me. I feel like I did my job. If you'd like to send a love donation, it is greatly appreciated. If you just want to donate some love and hugs and kisses and beautiful energy, I appreciate that too. I am eternally grateful all the information is down below. I love you. I love you. I love you. I will see you in the next video. Peace be with you.